Hello there. I've been asked a couple of times about the difference between throwing an exception and uh, returning the result type. And this is what I want to talk about today in this video. I have a small toy example here. It's a trivial program that reads some data and it outputs the result of execution. Let's look at this read some data function and it comes from the service. So let's pretend we have some business logic over here. But the important bit is that this function returns the result of either like some sort of data or the my service error. So my data is just a made up kind of data, whatever that is. And my service error is the type that we can construct out of this variant constructors. And that's just a fancy word for a function that returns some object. And so our only function in this service, it reads the data from the file system, it tries to parse the data, and it transforms it into resulting data. And if something goes wrong, it just tells the consumer that the service failed. And this is how in our main file, uh, the result that we get from the service is either my data or my service error. Let's have a look at the places that can fail. For example, this uh, file system data reader. Again, this function returns the uh, result of either a string or some sort of file system error. The important bit here is that this function always returns. Similar thing for our parser. Um, so we can parse some data and we return the result of either uh, parsed data or parsing error. And we model the errors uh, by the same token as before over here. All right, I hope you got the picture. So now let's try to run this program. And everything went smooth and our program went well, just all right. But if something goes wrong with our input or our environment, and we run the program again, our program finished with this kind of result, failed and it failed because data fetching failed. So what is this? This is exactly the object that we constructed over here in our service. But we don't know what actually failed of this too. And that's because we did not pass this information further. If we inspect this error variable over here, that would be either file system error or parsing error. But we lose this information deliberately over here. Let's fix this. So we're going to pass this error over here to this constructor. And then our constructor will accept it and propagate it further. Now if we try to run this program again, we will see that our service failed and that was the reason for that, that the file does not exist. In fact, we can inspect our errors now in the main program and TypeScript will guide us what kind of errors we can expect from these calls. So let's say when I handle this data fetch and failed error, now we have access to the errors that caused that service to fail, meaning that we can handle uh, both file system errors or parsing errors. And this is how we can propagate the errors from the uh, depth of our stack all the way up. Now, if we look at our variants, they simply return an object. And this field kind is just a discriminator for this union. Essentially, it's just a string, meaning that we can add additional information to that string or to that object altogether. Same for our parser and the driver. Let's see what we get in this case. Again, our program finished successfully, but it reported an error and we can trace exactly what happened there. If we compare this to throwing an exception, now I just need to pass the right payload and let's try that again we get this kind of call stack. We can definitely work with this call stack and we can trace where the problem originated. But there are several key differences here. First of all, our program crashed because the exception was not handled. While in this case, the program finished and reported the failed outcome successfully. But most importantly, this exception didn't trigger any compilation errors or anything like that. The service doesn't know about it. The main program doesn't know about it. Meaning that potentially to get the same level of safety, we should wrap everything in try catch to check everything at runtime rather than compile time because JavaScript and TypeScript does not force you to handle exceptions. And same thing applies to rejected promises. And so this is how we can propagate the errors using the result type. I hope this video was informative and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.